and I wanted to do this video to start over with the um, the foundation I bought yesterday by Black Opal. Um, the color wasn't really right for me. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just kind of like it just had this tint to it, and uh, um, you know, like I said, I didn't think I was that dark, but um, obviously I am. I'm in my living room right now because to me the sunlight shows better um with your makeup like you know if it's blended in good versus you being in the bathroom or wherever you choose to be so um yes I got the blinds open so I can really see what's going on and um here we go we're about to go ahead and get on into this and I'm going to sit you guys down Probably gonna turn you sideways so you can actually see me work. Hope you guys can actually see this. Um, also, I'm gonna be combining colors, like I said, with the black opal. And I'm gonna do CoverGirl still. I, I Something about CoverGirl, I just can't stop <laughs> so let me shake this up and I'm going to use the lighter foundation um, because they actually work well with the milk of magnesia and I didn't have any um, oils coming through my foundation so and I know the camera's over here. I just can't help because I'm seeing myself. So it's, you know. And also, um, a lot of my lipsticks are NYX. I love this brand. Um, this is usually what I use my pore fillers on. But I'm really trying to find another pore filler that's actually good for oily skin. Because this eventually wears off in a couple of hours and I at least want eight hour coverage again I showed yesterday um, my pores you know the big holes right there that I'm trying to um, close up so hopefully that happens soon we'll see but anyway here we go my sponge is already wet um, I haven't got that beauty sponge yet I, I'm looking for them every time I find one it's like not the quite the one I want so right now, I'm just using my basic, plain, um, flat one. But I would love to get that beauty one. You know, that the one that's like bubbly-like. I, I think that would be awesome. Beauty blender, as you guys call it. So I'm just going to put this just all over. I'm just, you know, because makeup is pretty much just like painting your face. Just painting, painting, painting. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to paint. And then I'm going to use the old one of CoverGirl, Queen. And I'm also going to paint with that also. Hey, this is my song. And I'm trying to work it in. And I know I'm all over the place <laughs> with it. Uh, like I said, I am an amateur when it comes to the makeup on applying it. I just do the best I can and hope it comes out the way that I want it to, you know? So, please don't be like, oh, she doesn't even know what she's doing because I don't know what I'm doing. But it works for me. So, you know, do what works for you. It's 
not all about doing what everybody else do. I mean, I'm trying to find the technique, but the way I put on my makeup is just how I put on my makeup. Like, people put their makeup on differently. And ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? Like, put it on, honey. Now, I'm looking at a mirror over here, by the way. Um, I got a big ass mirror <laughs> propped up so I can see what's going on. Um, uh, let's see. Let me, back. Let me turn it back this way. I'm going to say it's not as orange as it was. Yes, I have gray hair. Got it from my dad. A lot of them. <laughs> Me and my brother. Me and my two brothers, actually. We all got that gray hair syndrome from our dad. They call it, uh, what do you call it? Wisdom. <laughs> they could have saved it. I don't want it. I even got a pencil and everything. Like, I color in my gray hairs because I just freaking hate. Matter of fact, it's right here. This is the truth. Uh, the sun's kind of. This is the truth. It's like a marker. I mean, not a marker, like a, like, um, eyeliner pencil this is the type of product it is and you just color in the little stuff now i have a patch of white like right here but i already colored it in a couple of days ago it lasts a long time actually it lasts as long as you you know don't really be fooling with your hair and by braids you really don't have to do much to your hair but me i'm always in my braids i'm always putting them up or doing something twisting them or braiding them or whatever whatever because i like to be different and uh i don't know it's kind of it's kind of um, looking like it's not as orange as it was yesterday like I said, um, makeup for me is put it on. Ooh, look at me, deodorant and powder everywhere. Mm. Anyway, um, you know I smell good. Uh, makeup to me, putting it on, um, you shouldn't have to really do too much of anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see a bunch of women in videos where they are just adding this and this and this and this and, and got to do this and that and this and that. I mean, some of the things I understand, especially with oily skin, that you have to take the extra effort into trying to, you know, keep your makeup together. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but makeup should be made to just Put on and go, you know what I'm saying? Blend in or whatever you got to do and just keep it moving. Like, you know, you got to do all this extra stuff and all this. Like, they need to make a makeup like that. I know they have concealers. Like, I do use a uh, Black Radiance um, concealer. Like I said, I had acne problems all my life. So, sometimes when I do have outbreaks... Um, it might be a bad one where, you know, a dark mark shows and I'm like, ugh. So, I use this to cover it up. Um, this is numbers. It don't really say, you know. I think it was a, a light medium color or something like that. Medium. Um, it matches my skin very well, actually. But, um, yeah, you shouldn't have to go through all that, you know, 
to look good. Did I just get some right there? I mess with them brows, girl. See, I need to fill that one in a little bit, but they're still cute. Anyway, this is when my filler comes in. Now, normally I put it on before I add my um, foundations, but I noticed that it comes off. Um, to me, it feel like it, it just wipes off. It's, some, it's not even a liquid or anything. It's just like... I mean, sometimes when it comes out, it just shoots everywhere because that's how weird it is when it comes out. Um, it's just real, this thick. You know, you got some shit. This real little thick. See that? Like, but anyway, I put it on my problem area. And then I put. I put a powder on, just a little light powder, um, on after it, cause you know, you don't want, I don't know if they, people see it, I, I know I see it. Again, it is the Pore Filler by NYX, my lovely and favorite, oopsie, see what I'm saying? Squirts out like crazy. Lipstick collection, that's what my collection is, lipstick. Mm -hmm. Don't put too much on it. Um, I put it on my nose and partially my cheek because that's mostly where my pores are looking like manholes. <laughs> so I try to fill it in. You see it's not all the way filled in, but you know, it ain't bad. Uh, using my wipe. Uh, trying to see. Did it blend in good? The makeup on the cheek. Um, I'm not going to bake, um, because, <sighs> I'm still learning that technique, I'm still learning that, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to bake, um, I'm just going to put a little bit more of the lighter cover by Queen. Just down, like I said, um, hers really, really does <laughs> blend in my skin very well. Um, like I told y'all before, I am the, um, drugstore queen when it comes to makeup um a lot of you i used to work at macy's um and they have a lot of makeups but it's not for women of color it's not at all um it's more or less for caucasian women women um Indian women, maybe, you know, they got a little bit of a tan to them or whatever, a little bit of um, a darker color pigmentation, but 